Hello, my name is Tom Reed. I am the International Vice President for the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, 1st District, Canada. I would like to acknowledge the Indigenous peoples of all the lands that we are on today. From coast to coast to coast, we acknowledge the ancestral and unceded territory of all the Inuit, Métis, and First Nations people that call this nation home. I am recording this video from the traditional territory of the Mississaugas of the Credit, the Anishinaabek, the Chippewa, the Haudenosaunee, and the Wendat peoples. I also acknowledge that Toronto is covered by Treaty 13 with the Mississaugas of the Credit and the Williams Treaty signed with multiple Mississauga and Chippewa bands. I give thanks to those who have cared for this land to reaffirm my commitment and responsibility in improving relationships between nations and to improve my own understanding of local Indigenous peoples and their cultures. Since 2013, September 30th has been known as Orange Shirt Day, a day to bring much needed attention to the effects of residential schools on Indigenous communities in Canada. The name comes from the story of Phyllis Webstad. On her first day of residential school, at just six years of age, she had her orange shirt taken from her. It was a gift from her grandmother. This shirt was a symbol of a much bigger system at play. Indigenous children were taken from their families and were stripped of the culture that was theirs. Orange Shirt Day helps to continue the conversation and efforts around reconciliation. Those who have suffered tell their stories and continue to heal. For the rest of us, it's about supporting our Indigenous brothers and sisters that have been affected and to remind ourselves that every child matters. This year, residential schools made headlines with the discovery of the remains of 215 children at a former Indigenous school site in British Columbia. Less than a month later, 751 unmarked graves were discovered near the former Maryville Residential School, which was in operation from 1899 to 1997 in Saskatchewan. On September 29, 2020, Canada's heritage Minister Stephen Jabot tabled Bill C-5 proposing that Orange Shirt Day become a national statutory holiday. The new holiday would be officially named the National Day for Truth and Reconciliation. On May 28, 2021, the day after the 215 children's bodies were discovered in an unmarked cemetery, all parties in the House of Commons agreed to fast-track the bill and it passed by unanimous consent. The bill passed the Senate unanimously six days later and received royal assent on June 3rd, 2021. This September 30th, we ask that you take some time to learn about the history of residential schools. We owe it to those who have suffered to educate ourselves on not only the history of Indigenous peoples in Canada, but how we can be better allies and work towards reconciliation. Thank you for your time.